Mic check one two. You know the vibes, man. WDJC DB DJ Chase Radio. We got surprise in the building. You know the vibes, man. Big BX. You know this man. The stream DJChaseRadio.com. Surprise was popping, okay? You already know, man. And we're yeah. in the building. And we're we just, we, the guards were just building a little while ago. <laughs> You're in that energy, you know? Where, where, where? How you feeling tonight, man? I mean, I feel good, man. You know yeah, what I mean? Turn it's that Tuesday. Let me turn that down. Get you, get you sound Tuesday, tonight. Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm outside with it. <laughs> what up, what up? I'm chilling, man. Just here, man. Glad to have you in the building, man. A fellow yeah. New Yorker. I've been down here, so. You know how that go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The ground stop, though. You know, for sure, for state, sure, the man. The city. Yeah, yeah. I want to get people to know who you are. Get to know your your legacy. People know who Surprise is. Get to know the man, the myth, the legend. Let me get them hand claps popping. We got a, we got a nice action pack show for y'all tonight. Yeah. WDJC DB Clock DJ two. Chase Radio. There we go. Word yeah, up, that Carolina, Carolina living. You know the vibes. Once again, man, it's WDJC, DB, DJ Chase Radio. We got the one and only surprise in the building, man, on the nights. What's tonight? What's it? Wednesday? Today is uh, Wednesday. Let me turn that off right there. Wednesday? Let me turn that music down right quick. There we go. There we go. There we go. Once again, man, this episode is brought to you by College Radio Directory. Uh, use the promo code DJ Chase and Groove are the hottest platform to get in touch with labels, players, curators, get that music reviewed, man. But enough for all that. Should I say New York City or should I say Charlotte or should I say North Carolina's are so surprised? What should I say? Say NY to NC. I like that. I like that. NY to NC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> For sure, man. And I want to get into your background a little bit. Um, so, okay, we're going to start in the beginning, you know, so people know who you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You are a, a, a good guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, New Yorkers, we get a bad rap, but Surprise is actually a really good guy, actually. So, once again, man, what part of the Bronx are you from? I'm from originally from 163rd and Teller. Okay. You know what I mean? But then I moved to White Plains Old Area. Mm-hmm. Then moved down Gun Hill Road. Yeah. Uh, Washington Avenue Yeah uh, Forest Projects McKinley Projects Okay You know what I mean Those type of areas Yeah Vietnam. not wrong with that Can't yeah. forget Vietnam Shout out to Vietnam My boy DJ Kid New Mike Neasy That's what I met through man Yeah Kid New Kid New that's my guy He uh King was on, we, we was on King's Bridge together So that's my guy So yeah for sure For sure man And uh you know What made you want to become an artist Uh just Hip hop mm. You know what I mean Hip hop Yeah I was dancing I was doing Drawing Graffiti, yeah, you know what I mean. I started DJing. I was DJing actually with Kid New and Mike Nice. We did VFW 371 type of situations like that. You know, wait under, a minute, you was a DJ? Yeah, the underground. Wait, 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 Fever. wait. You started on techniques? Yeah, he's rocking seventeen hundred, seventeen hundred. This you know what guy what here, ten crazy records. <laughs> you know, one time we did a party in Vietnam. We had yeah. the elevator was broke. We had to carry up thirty six oh, mm, flights. Man. Mm, 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 it was crazy. Nope, nope, nope. I respect all the, mm. the OGs who did it before me. Bro. I was right there at the CDs. I did start on vinyl, but I, I started on CD. I was like, really, when I started DJing, me, I started on CDs. Okay, so. okay. For sure, man. For sure, man. And did you grow up with both your parents or just your mom or just your dad? Uh, just my mom. Your mom? Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Was she like any entertainment, anything like that? Uh, no, nah, my mom was just, you know what I mean, the mom figure. You know yeah. I mean? Always making mm-hmm. sure I'm. You know what I'm saying, dude, because I'm the only child, so okay. I just always not yeah. be outside getting in trouble with always yeah. just doing crazy stuff, like ended up in wheelchairs and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to do gymnastics. That's one thing in my pops. He told me gymnastics, so I used to mm. be flipping over buildings, okay, rooms and walls and yeah, yeah. stuff like that. And, yeah, you know what I mean? But other than that, like, yeah, my moms, my grandpa's, my grand, my grandma's, rest yeah. my grandma's, but around yeah. my grandparents, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and my mom's, they was like, you know what I'm saying, my background motivation. Gotcha, gotcha. And, um, you know, when did you take uh, started taking music seriously like when i was in high school yeah yeah i was in washington Irving, like up in there like you went we to watch her yeah went to watch the yeah i don't know how you survived that brother we used to get crazy <laughs> like, um, <laughs> the we used to beat on the table yeah. back of the train last call we used to put the lights out yeah. with the train you know what i'm saying yeah. battling rhyme and having ciphers going crazy in the back of the train you yeah. know what i mean Gotcha, gotcha, man. That's dope. And um, you know, I want to ask you this question. Uh, you was in a group as well, a rap group. So, what was the transition like from DJing to rapping? Well, in the rapping, it was just like you know, what I mean, I wanted to uh, 
get my point across mm. and to actually that people hear actually who I am what I want to do okay because I just knew I was multi-talented and a lot of visions that I had but it was just okay I'm gonna get to the ears mm. so I was like, I'm gonna just put it through my music yeah so I'm gonna hear my music it's just all motivational mm. inspirational and you actually hear me it's organic yeah you know what I mean and it's yeah. genuine yeah I ain't doing no capping I ain't yeah. doing none of that other stuff you know what I'm saying no no, no cap to nobody else but you know what I mean that's just my whole genre so when, you, yeah. when they hear me it's a like surprise yeah for sure for sure and that's how you got your name mm-hmm Surprise! Yeah, just like want to stand out, you know, because <laughs> like, you, you can know so much in the class. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So you raise your hand and it yeah, yeah. be like, uh, David. You be like, you see, <laughs> like, yeah. so you know what I mean. Yeah, Surprise yeah. was just the point. Like I want to show people who I am, and I yeah. want nobody to stop me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just because, like, you know, no what doubt, saying? no doubt. Yeah. And with that being said, now your group that you was in called Thug uh, Tom has us grounded yeah. committee. You know what I'm saying? What, when did you guys break up? I mean, that was just like the whole forefront of the clock table. It all mm. started off thugs, thugs standing for time has us grounded. Yeah, that was the first logo. Time is grounded. Uh, the clock standing on the ground with BX in the middle. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So that was like time yeah. standing on the ground in the BX. You know what I mean? Gotcha. And the matter of time is. So I had built that independent company. Mm. Didn't want a partnership with somebody else, but we had all separated. Mm. All when I. I was yeah. saying several ways and everything like that, so I switched over to the clock table. Yeah, yeah, the got you, got you. And also too, I see that you uh, you thugged it out on Amateur Night at the Apollo yeah, 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 twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did it as a solo artist. The time. You did it as a solo artist with the group. Yeah, well, solo. I've been a solo artist. Man. Sheesh, all right. I never was in a group. Yeah. I just had a group. Like I created yeah. a movement. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying thug comedian to same. It was the movie. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, for sure, for sure. And um, you know, how did you transition down here to North Carolina? Uh, just coming out here, mm. bouncing back and forth right here, visiting mm. people's out here, coming to CIAA, you know what I'm saying, when it's in the Epic Center and stuff like mm. that. So in 2007, I actually was out here, I was staying with my peoples. Yeah. I was working at Mercy Hospital. Mm. You know what I mean? Mercy. So I ain't really was on my credit back then. You, know you good, you so good. I had the paper, but I ain't had the credit. You, know you what good, mean? you so good. So out here, you need the credit to get cribs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that hindered me, you know what I'm saying? I went back to New York, but I told my people, I was like, yo, well, I'm telling you, if I go anywhere, I'm coming back to New York. And yeah. see, I'm in my credit, my money up. Oh, you know what I'm saying? 2016, I was here. You know what I'm saying? 19 bands yeah. ready to expand. Listen, you got to do what you got to do. Listen, everybody got to hustle somehow, some way. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of awards. You got a, you know what I'm saying? You're very accomplished being an independent I would say I wouldn't even call, entrepreneur. I wouldn't say I wouldn't even say, say label say owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, you do too much. You <laughs> entrepreneur. You feel me? Right. So with that being said, being an independent entrepreneur, like <laughs> we 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 gonna run through this. You feel me? The artist, you know, dealing with a label, dealing with a production company, dealing with management. What is one thing about artists that kind of get on your nerves a little bit? The work ethic. Mm. That be it. Yeah, because you be ready here to work. <coughs> But yeah. they don't be ready to work. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, you know, it's like we always like, damn, I'm saying if I had somebody I could whoop, whoop. But then when you get it, it's yeah. like, it ain't gonna work. So it's like, come yeah. on. Yeah. So it's like certain people like us, like, I wish I could bump into a person like me. Yeah. And that's why I got my artist, Nella B. You know yeah. what I mean? She's yes. just like yes. me. Yes. Yes. Ready yes. to work. She's ready to put out the. We're gonna get Nella B on camera. Work. I got the yeah. DJ for her. She, she kills it. She's, she's a fire artist. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, for sure, for sure, man. And do you feel like, you know what? Especially like when we started You know what I'm saying I started around the same time as you You feel me mm. uh, Do you feel like The change has Happened for the good Artists being independent Or you think it happened for the worse I'm gonna say this okay. It happened for the better Because it okay. gave everybody A sense of control Yeah and You know what I mean by that right Like cause you know Back then it was just the gatekeepers, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hard. Like, oh yeah, it was, you know it, was un- like, it was ridiculous. It was yeah. hard for one. You you yeah. had to, you was doing cassette tapes. You yeah, know what yeah, yeah, put yeah. things in the cassette yeah. tapes. So we really wanted to have it official. You yeah, really yeah. know the source. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So and then also too is like you didn't know enough. Yeah, you know what I mean. Now it's like everything is there. It's on the internet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's gonna teach you everything. Like you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? a lot of people didn't know about copyrights. A lot of people didn't know about pros and stuff like that. Yeah, like, it was just ask out BMI. It wasn't considered a pro yeah. to the uneducated back yeah. then. You know what I'm saying? But those are things that I tapped into, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I want to know about the business. I want to be the business yeah. and have more sense of control of what I'm doing. So now, being yeah. like the whole internet and everything is more easy for people. Like, yeah. it's no reason why nobody can't be making made, it made right money. Now. Yep. You yep. know what I mean? There's because no excuses. You have everything to plug. Yeah, you, you hear that? Thing. If, especially if you are a pro. You have... Yeah. Uh, uh, you have your writer and your publisher. Come on, that's a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred sure. percent. You know what I mean? They yeah. gotta negotiate with you now. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, sir. especially if you're doing your copyrights. You know yeah. what I'm saying? As long as you own it, they yeah. can't control it. Yeah, you got it. 
<laughs> and what is one good thing you like about managing artists? Like, because I know, you know, we've been kind of politicking for a couple of months now. Like, what is, like, you're very passionate. You feel me? You, very, you actually care about your, your people. You know what I'm saying? You know, what is one good thing about being a management and label like that? What you do? Just helping somebody help me. Mm. You know what I mean? Helping you could educate me more on yeah. how I'm able to build somebody and able to spy mm-hmm. somebody and show them the things that I went through yeah. and educate them and show them it's easy. It's simple. You just got to go do it. Can't yeah. stop you with you. Yeah. You know what I mean, so just the aspect of being able to help somebody get to a level that mm-hmm. they're pursuing to and just educate them, make yeah. them feel good. Got you. Got you. And I want to ask you a question. I, I should have asked it before, but it just popped in my head right now. You know, being a DJ, starting out as a DJ, right? Yeah. What was one, what was your go-to record? Because I know, I know a kid knew. What, what was your go-to records? I had a, I had a, you SWV joints acapella though you go I got the, I got the decks right there you got to come out of retirement you know it was a couple of joints you know yeah. what I mean? But you yeah, know, that was that was the fun days, man. I ain't never gonna forget those days. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun, man. And you know, like, uh, you you've won so many awards, more awards than I can actually name right now. What is what what what, what has been the most the most specialist award to you? The Queen City Award. Mm, got you. Yeah, I like that. Artist of the Year, male. Like, got that you. was just the most. Dominant, prominent feeling. I could, I, I can't bring back that. You know what I'm saying? That one, like, because it's like, you yeah. know, we from New York. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's hard for us to get somewhere and, and huh. get that acknowledgement where we could, oh, wow. Because yeah. it actually surprised me. Yeah. Because I didn't even know I was nominated. They put me on. You know what I'm saying? So just for yeah. actually, for their hand in your name yeah. and you to win, oh, man, that was just. Yeah, that just brought me New York streets is bad. So when when people out of town, people be like, "Oh, I'm like y'all, y'all don't live there." <laughs> Shit, it took me. I got one DJ of the year in 2022. You know how long it took me to did, get that? 20 years, literally. So I understand, my brother. <laughs> and you know, you also a promoter. You also do your own events, right? Yeah. And I do want to ask you this question now. You know, doing your own events, like what did you, what do you feel like artists when they perform at these showcases? Like, what is one thing you feel artists should do to make their performances better? I mean, have a show track. Mm. Yes, I mean, yes, a yes. Of, a lot of people. Oh, let's get the hand class for that. Hold, let's get the hand class for that because he needs. Yeah, these artists need the, the, the show track. So let me find. I can find a hand class. My bad, but you keep going. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, definitely. A, show track <laughs> a lot of times, sometimes the the sound system ain't good or the yeah. mics ain't good. So yeah. Just your sound, there your, your song overshadowing you. You hear it? There you go. We found it. <laughs> it just lacks the quality of having them listen to you. Like, you know yeah. I mean? So when you have a show set, they got you can actually put out more energy, and they can actually hear what yeah. you're saying. You can actually entertain them. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And do you feel like showcases like are profitable now in 2024? Or do you feel like you know are they a more more or less a labor of love? Uh, it depends on who you are, what's your network. Mm. You know what I mean? Sometimes mm. you gotta know how to pay the bills. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Off of what you bringing in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Other yeah. than it's coming out of pocket. So mm. that's what I was doing, like with my hat I got on right now. Yeah. We got game. We I got had game. Yeah. The basketball tournament. So I was using the tournament to actually fund the tournament mm. and actually pay the winner of the tournament. Mm. Nice. You know okay. I mean? Without coming out of pocket. Yeah, yeah. Got you, got you. All right, let's go to some Mimi music. Hold on, let me go to, let me go, let me go and turn this down. Let me turn this down. Going, we going, we going to go through some surprise tracks. I'm going to Spotify, play something. There. We got to turn it down. There we go. Let me pull that up from the top. You know this, man. Once again, WDJ CDB. I'm not on my DJ bag. I'm on my interview bag right now. DJ Chase Radio. Download that DJ Chase Radio mobile app, man. My guy, Surprise. Make sure you follow him on that Instagram. You know this, man. Who's this, Graham? Sir underscore prize, right? Sir underscore P underscore R I C E. There we go. You know the vibes. Yeah. This one's called Destined for Greatness. Jada Marie. Sir Prize. Sir Prize. Jada Marie. I never stagnate. Second one yeah. high, it's how I elevate. <coughs> Ball smooth solely. I got no time for the fake. I'm living lavish. Every day I am good music, it's you know this. I'm counting my blessings while I stack yeah. up that conversation. I'm mixing and matching. Bingies and Jacksons, that's a common attraction. Like drama and action. As a oh, we're going to turn that down for a sec. Surprise, I'm going to ask you this question, that's right? You know, there's been a lot of a lot of debate out here that like older artists can't make it or older artists can't compete. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about that? Because I'm going I'm to give my opinion, but I, w- I want to get your opinion on that. The interview's about you, so I want to hear what you got to say about I mean, everything that. is geographical. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
So it's about where you want to be, where's your areas you want to cover. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you want to stay in the hood, that's where you're going to be in the hood. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you want to create stuff outside of the box, you're going to be outside of the box. Yeah. That's why I create universal stuff. Like, my music can fit anywhere, any genre. Yeah. You see my analytics and my numbers, like, my age groups is, is like, through yeah. all ages. Like, yeah. Because everybody can adapt. Yeah. For sure, for sure, man. And what do you feel like, you know, when you get in the booth, you like the studio better, you like the stage better? I see you perform. I, mean, I got the I like footage. The, right now, I like the stage better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because right now, it was like, okay, like, everybody that heard me right now, they need to see me. Yeah. For sure, for sure, man. And I do want to ask this question, right? Being that we've come from a, a before social media and after social media, mm. you know, do you feel like social media is actually clouding the judgment of artists today? Do you feel like it's, it's creating this inflated ego that artists have? Or do you feel like it's helping the artists? I mean, everything is just what you make it. Yeah. So you have a lot of people that utilize a lot of resources for what they utilize it for. Mm. You have a lot of people that utilize resources for the main purpose. Yeah. Which defeats the main purpose of why the platform was provided. Like if everybody did positive stuff on the platforms, yeah, yeah. this stuff would be more. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like more of the other stuff yeah. than the real stuff. Yeah. So it's like okay, like everybody tends to go into that way because that's where everybody's just following ignorance. Yeah. yeah. But it's a lot of other educated stuff that's coming on that you ain't gonna get the algorithm for because yeah. that's not what they're trying to feed it to. Gotcha. Got you for sure, for sure, man. And you know, what is one piece of advice to, for uh, artists that do your showcases, right? Or do your? Sh- I won't even say showcases. They show. They not. I'm on. They, they're not showcases. They shows. Mm. You know, like, do you feel like artists should like use those as a vehicle to uh, get to more shows and tours? Like, in the sense of like, should they videotape it? Should they get a recording of it? Like, how should they utilize a show? A show like yours? Yeah, definitely. You want to utilize that as a promotional tool. Yes, and sir. As a marketing. You definitely want to come out with some promotional flyers, some business cards. You definitely want to have like a banner or something mm-hmm. other than just coming to just perform. Yeah. Because you want to give somebody something to leave with to remember you. Because yeah. Because the, 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 the thought time span now is just so short that yeah. as soon as you got to the stage in two seconds, they done forgot about you. Yeah, yeah. But if they got your flyer, they going to go home with it. Yeah. Somebody that they may know may yeah. know you. Yeah. And, oh, you know him? Yeah, I was at a show yesterday. Oh, yes, my <laughs> Now, yeah. the fan base growing more and more. If mm. they didn't scan your curl code or follow you then, they're going to follow you now. Why? Yeah. Because somebody else said they know you. Yeah. So it's like, where you want to take yourself, where you want to be. So yeah. definitely get your marketing, your promotional game up. Yeah. Never go out there empty handed. That's for one. Yeah. For two, definitely have a show set. For three, have a song selection. Like, mm. you know I mean, don't just come with any song. Like, have yeah. a song selection. Like, what type of person like me? Yeah. I got a flash job. I got a folder that says surprise performance music. Yeah. I fill a crowd out. If it's more females in there, I'm pulling out a female song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it's more dudes in there, I got other songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it's middle, I got vibe songs. Yeah. So I'm going to fill a crowd out before I even. But you're the cheat code, bro. You was a DJ. So you already know how to how to do nah, this. It's just. It's just <laughs> I'm, I'm, teasing, checking, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. Just not checking. Yeah. Man. You know this, man. Once again, my guy, Surprise. We going in some music right quick. My city. You know the vibes, man. WDJC DB DJ Chase Radio, the official stream city, on that DJ Chase Radio mobile my city, app. My city, yeah. My city, old city, new city. My city, my city. My city, old city. I'm gonna pull that up from the top. You know the vibes, man. WDJC, I am DJ Chase. Surprise in the building. Yeah. My city. We only warming up. You know the vibes. Pull it up one time. We here, we here. My city, my city, my city. Yeah, man. WDJC, DB, DJ Chase Radio. Surprise. This one's called My City. Yeah. We got the lovely Nella B in the building. You know the vibes. We here. That New York talk, you know this. We say NY to NC. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that. I'm gonna steal like I like, I like that one. <laughs> I still be like New York City DJ Chase. You know this. Surprise in the building. Let's get it. My city. I want to ask Surprise who produced this. 
the beat is hard. Dope like the boys beat. from Germany. Germany. Yeah. I like the beat. The beat is hard. Bright lights, big city to get it on. My city. My city, my city. And you know what? I can tell, like, you really, you know, the, even the EQ, the mixing and mastering sound really good, too. So, yeah. I had a fan and everything. Sound good. Yeah, sound good. Sound good. Yeah. Yeah. And once again, like I said, man, we here with my guy, Surprise, man. NC to NY, NY to NC, you know the vibes, man. And I want to ask this question, Surprise. Are you working with any producers, like, exclusively right now? Or are you just, like, shopping beats? Uh, like, I got regular producers, like Debo 71. Okay. I got, like, Doughboys, my people from Germany. Like, they produce mm -hmm. a lot of my records. Gotcha. Uh, then I'm tapping into it. Sound good, though. Sound good. Producers. Sound good. Tone Jones. Got yeah. a couple of his joints. Yeah. Um, serious beats. <coughs> I mean, so mm -hmm. I got some some uh, regulars that I go to. Yeah, you know what I mean, more than okay. uh, reaching out. But like, when yeah. I hit some dope stuff. I'm, I'm tapping in. Let's get it. Let's get it. And uh, one of my last questions before we get out of here, too, brother, is um, you know, what's like your your label? What's the name of your label? Your company? The Clock Table E N T L L C. Yes, sir. And are you signing artists right now? What, what's going on with that? I mean. Like I'm taking on a little management right now, but also like I got the the movement, the clock table with NTLC, we a movement. Yeah. You know what I mean, got clock table baddies, they the face of the clock table, you know yeah. what I mean? They got merch, they outside with it. Another B is also a clock table baddie and Okay, basket. okay. I you know see what it. Saying? So we we outside with it. Pool party coming up September seventh. We doing a bikini photo shoot over there. Shout out to David Dawn, shout out to Trey yeah. Rose. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. Nice, nice, nice. And I do wanna ask this question. You got an album coming out, you drop just dropping singles, brother. Like <clears throat> Alright, so I had an EP, but I, nah, it's, it's crazy. You know why I'm asking, right? So I got the EP. Okay, I there's a talk. reason why I'm asking. You know what I'm saying? But All the right. main song, the Death of Greatness, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Death of Greatness song yeah. got delayed. You know what I'm saying? But we got the Death of Greatness song completed. Yeah. But now the video is delayed. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, but the, I got the songs already for the yeah. EP already. You know what I mean? We just went for the video to push because that's the main single you know for the EP. <laughs> for sure, for sure, man. And my very last question, I ask everybody this before we get out of here, man. You know, if there was a new artist that came up to you and said, Surprise, I want to sign with your label, um, what advice would you give them? Are you sure? Mm. You know what I mean, are you are you motivated? Are you dedicated? Mm. Or you just want to just come in and feel like you're gonna be rich tomorrow? Or you're gonna get a deal tomorrow? Mm. It's a hard work, man. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, you, your soul ran down with this game. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying, it's a lot of obstacles and it's a lot of investing. Like ain't nothing <laughs> free. You know what I mean? Everything costs out here, you know what I mean? Yeah. It costs to be the boss. You know what I'm saying? It definitely costs to get you across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the vibes, man. We out of here. WDJCDB, DJ Chase Radio Surprise, man. Plug everything in social media, label, you, your showcases, your performances, your live shows, your paid shows. Plug everything, my brother. The clock table, ENTLLC.com. That's the website. Committeewearshop.com. That's my clothing store. Clock Table Baddies, that's my female brand. Every Friday, who got a banger? Shout out to Mary Mac, Cash Bob, Steven the Dream. You know what I'm saying? Who else? K Nasty. You know, we do that every Friday. You know what I'm saying? That's the who got a banger. Uh, I'm also the AR for RPG. Uh, you need promotional stuff, business cards, flyers, banners. I'm also a graphic designer and printer. I yeah. provide those type of services. Yeah. Uh, you need artist development. I want a one three one independent service where you need to know about copyrights. You need to know about ASCAP, BMI. You need to know about encoding. You need to know about Nielsen, sound scan. You know what I mean? Tapping with me. Yeah. You know I mean, I can put you on with that too. Yeah. Uh, I'm a merch creator. Yeah. Uh, I got my own sneaker line. Yeah. I got my own clothing line. Yeah. What? Check out for my daughter, Jada Marie. She's yeah. Going crazy. Yeah. Check out another beat. She's yeah. Going crazy. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> you know Let's get it. You know this man, my guy, surprise in the building. WDJC, DB, DJ Chase Radio. And we are out of here. You know the vibes, man. Lock in. My guy, surprise. NC to NY. And we out of here. You know the vibes, man. DJ Chase. Yeah. Let me turn it up. Pull it up one time. We're going to finish up like this. Yeah. This actually was the first record I did when I moved out here. Oh, where? Oh, nice, nice. Yeah.